previously on my hard drive. And I ran. <laughs> Yuri's butt is too big. Monica pulls out. Who's that? Die. Please. Sleep is for the weak. CTE. 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 Oh. Barry? And now... <laughs> the coconut nut is a giant nut. Well, welcome back, everyone. Act 2. Welcome to Act 2, everybody. It's dark. Jerry, I'm frightened. The sun's intense rays show no mercy as they penetrate my eyeballs and cook me alive. The end. Another Monday. Garfield. I walk outside to meet Sayori, who's humming a tune to herself. <laughs> Morning, Sayori. Sleep okay last night? Yep. You sound really sleepy, Chuck. You weren't all up all night playing video games again, were you? You can't keep doing that, you know? It's not healthy. Whatever you say, Sayori. Whatever you say, Sayori. My name's not Shane, kid. By the way, how's your hand? It's... Not your hand! Chris! Fucking... God damn it! I give her hand a light tap, barely enough to even harm her. Ow! Ooh. What was that for? Oh, come on, Sayori. There's no way it hurt that much. Or do you just want more attention from me? Come on. No fair, Chuck. You can't keep calling me out like that. It's embarrassing. Sayori blushes. Because I called her cute. Return. Aw, oh, Chuck. You're so nice to me. Well, come on, gang. We're gonna be late. Walking into the club room feels pretty strange, even after two months. Why is it strange, Chuck? The same fucking room, nothing changes about it. The gang is all fully recovered, except for Monica, who is sadly out due to her condition. What is that fucking image? Is that me? I love it! Oh my god, I love the toast head. Why is it- why is Moon Man there? Oh my god! The gang's all here! That's my computer's background right now. I changed it again. For the sake of that being fucking fantastic. Oh my god. Honestly, if you're gonna play Ark Survival Evolved, make sure- make sure you don't fucking join the big server, because- And if you do, you gotta have a wired connection. I don't have a wired connection. Oh shit, that's why. Also, over here, just like Ooga Booga. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just, just, That's a good just, image. Just holding a club saying Ooga Booga. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic shouts <laughs> Ooga Booga. <laughs> Do you know the way? <laughs> you were not. <laughs> you were like the little stutter you did. <laughs> Shit, man. Sayori, being the vice president, has to take over for Monica, which for the first month was pretty crazy considering Sayori's clumsy nature. She's pretty great at making the club fun for everyone, though. Hey, guys! Hope everyone had a happy weekend! Guess I'll choke this guy. Sayori's bright and happy attitude always brightens my day up. I assume it has a similar effect on Nets, Suki, and Yuri. Oh, well, I spent the entire weekend reading. Sorry, that sounds pretty boring, doesn't it? No, that sounds fun. As long as you had fun doing it, who cares if it's boring? I like that attitude. What about you, Natsuki? What did you do? She looks up at Sayori, turns to me, and back at Sayori. Now back to me. Now back to Sayori. Now back to me. I have a toast head. Yeah, it was alright, I guess. Nothing special. I remember that she never, never kept me posted on her issues at home. Not that she would feel obligated to, of course. It's probably really hard for her to talk about it with others. Shuckles, Helicopter Wigwam Jones, how about you? Anything you'd like to share with the class? Not really anything that's interesting enough to share. Wow. He pulled that right out of the toast, the, the fucking Toast Man playbook. I've said that to practically every person who's asked me, how was your, how was your day? Did you do anything today? Not really anything, in that, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, uh, well, okay, Chuck, we all have boring days sometimes. We all gotta have rainy days and Mondays. Except for the fact that my days are always boring. Ah, oh, shut up, Chuck. You just got attacked by a girl in a coma. All I really do is sit around, play video games, watch anime, and read manga. I do those first two things. Uh, watch anime, I don't really do that, and read manga, I can't read. So, man, I should really get out there and do more outdoor activities. Maybe I am some lame weeaboo. Now don't get too hard on yourself, Chuck. At least I have a girlfriend, though. That's a plus. Tell me about it. 
Anyway, Monica, Monica didn't give me any instructions over the weekend, as usual, so I guess we can all relax and do our own thing, okay? As usual, Yuri goes over to a nearby desk and starts reading her book. Sayori so reaches into his school bag and pulls out a cookie. God knows where she finds those. And Suki goes off to the closet and pulls out some manga from the shelf. I walk over to Sayori and sit next to her. Hey, Chuck, why aren't you talking to the other girls? You always spend so much time- you, you already spend so much time with me. I gently pat her head- oh my fucking god. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's a fucking perfect response to that! <laughs> Imminent fear. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. We're going Back to G.I. Joe. Last time on this fucking show, we patted Sayori on the head and laughed. Meanwhile, Cosmic is fucking lagging. <laughs> I like fuck. <laughs> I'm lagging. <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Well, of course I'm gonna spend time with you, Sayori. I'm sure the others understand. How fucking long is this game? Well, I just don't want the others to feel lonely. All right, tell you what. I'll talk with the others more this week, okay? Besides, uh, you're probably right. I should be getting closer with them. They're my friends, after all. That's the spirit, Chuck. It's been about two months since Sayori has been getting professional help from therapists. Oh, thank God. You know, that's good. While she was at the hospital recovering from injuries, she was also offered help with her depression. She's been getting counseling and taking medications ever since. I'm proud of her. Hey, Sayori. How have you been? I'm doing fine. Why? What the fuck is that? Hey, I hit keyboard. <laughs> I hit keyboard. <laughs> I just have this picture of the old lady with fucking kids. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, son, I'm very disappointed. Well, then, what a great title of that image. This dude looks like Tom Tom Fox. What's with these homies dissing my girl? They're in a folder on their own, by the way. Just <laughs> She's done. It's Granny. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's one more. Dude, shit, I dropped my cap. What the fuck is that face? <laughs> True buttes, I agree. I'm really glad we took that break to, to look at Grandma. And I'm doing fine, why? Well, I mean, how's the counseling going? God oh, damn it, you sent Grandma with a gun. I'm trying to read the game! How's counseling going? It's going fine, thank you. I appreciate the thought, but I'm starting to struggle with my words. Take a deep breath. <gasps> <coughs> I almost lost everything that day. God fucking damn it. We are having a serious moment, and you people are sending me this shit. Anything's a dodo if you're brave enough. Grandma with a gun. Old woman with pistol on a white background. I made $60. Well, it used to feel like a bat being swung across my head every time you scared for me. Every morning, it was so hard to wake up and getting ready for school. But at the same time, I wanted to try my best for you. I told myself every day that I would keep moving. Because I wanted to make you happy. <laughs> what the fuck? You look up Jerry reading newspaper, and the first result is Tom with ma with fucking anime ass shit. Hell yeah, hentai. <laughs> Can I be a friend? <laughs> Some days are hard, but thanks to getting the help I need and you always being here, you push away the rain clouds. Aww. You're my sunshine, chuckles helicopter wigwam Jones. Sayori's way of putting things never fails to leave a smile on my face. It's always so cheesy, yet I never get tired of hearing it. There's only one thing that matters. Family. It's a rare condition of this day and age to be see any good news on the newspaper page. Suddenly driven of the grand design. Is that me? <laughs> Is 
I'm naming that toast read, reads the hentai. I get up from my desk and guide her to do the same. Come here, Sayori. Eh? I grab her by the waist and pull her close to me. I wrap her arms around her and hold her tight. She hugs me back. I will always protect you. Norton Antivirus. We must have been hugging for a good five minutes before Natsuki calls us calls out to us playfully. Alright, lovebirds, you're making me sick over here! We quickly let go of each other, my face feeling a bit hot. Sayori and Yuri giggle, uh, giggle while Natsuki bursts out laughing. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Alright, I surrender, jeez. Being the only boy in here really sucks sometimes. Alright guys, is anyone ready to head home? Sure, I need to go home early anyway. I'll get in trouble if I'm late! Natsuki walks out of the club quickly, at a decently brisk pace. Oh, alright then. I'll see you both tomorrow. Have a good night. Yuri gracefully waltzes out of the classroom, leaving me and Sayori all alone. Welcome back to Infinite Power. When we left off, off, we were about to head out. Well, Chuck, I think... Welcome back. I was thinking about that night, the one where we, um... I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the fucking people in America. Hey, little shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Turn that frown upside down. Listen here, you little shit. I automatically know what she's talking about, and I start blushing myself. Oh, I know. You don't have to bring it up with me. It was just one night. No, silly. I mean, I want to do it again. Do what again? Whoa. To get you said it, not me. This just got interesting. Chuck knows what he's talking about. I feel like me on my background right now. Uh, my body is getting all wobbly. Did it just get hot in here all of a sudden? Oh, oh. oh who turned on the heat? Oh. Without saying another word, Sayori gets closer to me. The warmth of her body fills me with indescribable joy. Indescribable joy. <laughs> Almost the same joy I felt the day I rescued her. It's not suicide, it's a rescue! But I feel excited. You better describe excited. Oh god. We're in the, we're in the hell dimension. Chuckles Helicopter William Jones? Oh god. Monica, don't do this. Oh god. Jesus Christmas. Don't you look at me in that tone of voice. Eight. Eight days a week? Eight maids of milking? Pieces of eight? Eight times eight equals 64? Nintendo 64? Eight games in one, as in Kirby's Superstar for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System? Five? Five what? Five golden rings? Five guys, burgers, and fries? More like five gays? What are we talking about here? Twelve? Twelve what? Twelve angry men? Twelve days of Christmas? The twelve apostles? The twelve tribes of Israel? What? Sixteen? That was a pretty shitty show. Eight, five, twelve, sixteen. How does that mean? That's gotta mean something. I wake up in a cold sweat. Was that real? No, of course not. I think I'm really starting to miss Monica. What? Sayori is great at making the club fun and all, but Monica really knew how to help us connect with each other, whether we liked it or not. I decided to plan a surprise visit for her at the hospital. I discuss it with Sayori later. I prefer my usual morning routine, you know, watering the plants, cleaning the gutter, getting dressed, taking a shower while getting dressed, jerking off, eating toast. While getting dressed? While getting dressed. Wait. Eating toast. Oh no. That's me! Campbell! As usual, Sayori runs up to meet me and gives me a warm hug. I'll never get tired of these. Good morning! As the eyes are spread out. As my computer fan goes apeshit. The sun is shining super bright today. Super bright? Don't stare at it. I've already lost one eye. Indeed it is. It's actually pretty hot now that you mention it. Jeez. Jinkies. I already feel myself working up a sweat. Oh, Chuck, I forgot to tell you. What is it? I have my counseling appointment this afternoon. I won't be able to make it in the club today, so I'll leave you in charge. What? Oh, well, um, um, oh, okay, I guess. I can handle the club. It's just Yuri and Natsuki, right? I'm sure you can make them both happy. Come on, we don't want to be late. She grabs my hand as we rush off to school. We rush. I guess the plan is I guess the plan to discuss the surprise visit for Monica will have to wait for now. Walking into the club room only to find Natsuki and Yuri was a little strange. Almost kind of 
boring. They seem to be having a nice conversation, so we decide not to bother them for now. I set my things on a nearby desk and take out my phone. I see a text message from Sayori. Remember to spend time with the other girls, too, okay? Damn it, I was just going to jerk off in the closet, but... Geez, easier said than done. I care about them, but it's a little hard for me to talk with them sometimes. I don't want to leave one behind by focusing my attention on the other one. But how is one guy like me supposed to keep two girls happy? I sigh out loud, and the two girls both notice. <sighs> oh, does the little lover boy miss his girlfriend? Hmm. Bitch. Oh, quit harassing him, Natsuki. Let him miss his girlfriend in peace. Oh, I mean, uh... Nice one. <laughs> nice one, Yuri. Well done. They're a fucking comedy duo waiting to happen. <laughs> alright, alright, I get it. I'm just upset because I have to babysit you both today. Whatever. The girls look at me as if they're waiting for me to give them something to do. What do you want me to do, Command? You like fucking Pikmin? Okay, Louie, go over there. Uh, Omar, go over there. And me? I'm gonna jerk off in weird places. You mean you don't know? Oh, you're just as bad as Sayori. <sighs> My bad. What's Rhythm doing? Dude, is that- is that us? This is us right now. I fucking love this. <laughs> I'm just saving this as the- the Discord gang. Well, it's whatever. I'm gonna go read over there. Call me if you need me. Can I show you something? Oh, Yuri's gonna show me something. What is it? She looks over the bag and pulls out a THICK book. It's a different book than what she usually reads. What is it? Is it the Thesaurus? I read other genres, too. Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to get you upset. That's okay. I really know how to make these interactions awkward, don't I? What's this book about? Her composer changes. She holds the book close to her chest. It's obvious she really finds comfort in her novels. Well, it's technically a horror story, but it's nonfiction. It's, <laughs> it's about this German soldier during the Second World War. He's constantly faced with extremely difficult decisions and situations. As a result, he starts to break down mentally and, ruse, and loses sight of who he really is. He's always in a constant state of doubt and comes close to suicide on multiple occasions. Welcome back, gang. The uh, the video ran out right on a fucking loud blowing of the... Okay. What was that? We are trying to read a book about Nazis. I'm scared. You must choose between who lives and who dies. The choices are yours and yours alone. Can't even begin to fathom how much stress this man must have went through. Tell me about it. He didn't. He couldn't even beat the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. The writing is so descriptive. It's on par with even the most detailed fictional stories I've read. It shows me to the bone. Rattle me bones. That's why I love it. Rattle me bones. Welcome aboard, matey. Coupled with the fact that this is all true, it's absolutely ex thrill. Ex is it ex It's exhilarating. Exhilarating and thr thrilling, thrilling and, and exhilarating. exhilarating. Can they do that? What do you think? Chuckles, helicopter wigwam Jones. You like Nazis? I'm stunned. She almost. She seems to almost speak a mile a minute whenever she talks about literature. Never fails to amaze me. What the fuck is this? I'm lonely. Anime titty. Go commit scooter ankle. Ah, I went on another one of my rants again, didn't I? What? There was a rant in that. That wasn't a rant. Seriously, it's like you're the most intelligent one here. You put the literature in literature club. You also put the... Never mind. Really? I... I'm sorry. Will you excuse me for a moment? What's wrong? She runs out of the room pretty hastily. What did you say to her? Nothing. <laughs> Caesar! The freezer! <laughs> oh my fucking god. You've always been a creep, Chuckles Helicopter Wigwam Jones. Jeez. They don't call me helicopter for nothing. Natsuki gives me a small shove. I fall on the floor. I bleed profusely. Now go hurry up and find her already. I'm trying to think of where Yuri could have gone. I can't imagine her going too far. She ain't at the library. Fuck off, McAfee. I walk a little further down the hall to find the door slightly open. It leads to one of the empty classrooms. I open the door gently. Oh my god, what? oh my god! Oh my god! I love it! Oh my god! 
Oh my god! You two are sitting behind a computer laughing your ass off. Meanwhile, I'm 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 face like face like inches away from anime titty. I'm in the fucking red zone, about to make the touchdown. Jesus Christmas. Thank you.